Okay, this is what it looks like. This is the dashboard, something fresh, something new. I've been kind of waiting for this for a, for a little bit, but I wanted to just give you an overview of what the guys at Framer are working on. things have changed quite a bit but now on the left we have sort of the things that are mine um, this is my account um, recent documents we have some drafts anything you can create here it just becomes a draft automatically and then you can archive things that you don't care for um, and these are like my main I, I, I use a lot of the recent just cuz I I want to see the things that I hope open and then on the top of this you see that templates you have iOS Android web desktop let's open up a quickly an iOS template just oh no oh, well here on the left uh, just to mention it before I go over here you have a team I created a team of myself um, and then a frame Miami just uh, a couple of friends were doing something cool anyways let's open up a template just to show you how much things have changed and I'm also going to open uh, a framer this is the framer X and um, this is framer uh, web I'm actually going to something you can do here uh, you can go on file and you can um, download any file and you can also upload files and uh, it's gonna take a second but and while that's happening I just want to download it so you can ooh, let's go. there we go I'm just gonna close this delete yeah so we have uh, the iOS template here and then we have okay sorry I got navigated away uh, let's close this so th this is the template uh, it's just a screenshot I think well it has a screenshot and some some cool things to get you started these are some frames and some text layers um, <laughs> this is a keyboard <laughs> that's interesting and just some scaffolding things I want to show you how things have changed and uh, let's take a look at Framer X so something that I've been asking for a while is just labels in general um, they have moved the tools from this section and then move it into the top section I think it makes it more intuitive it's easier to reach um, if you have never used the tool and uh, they give you this little hover over a uh, little explanations what each feature does the stack uh, the text uh, graphic uh, the pay the linking some scrolling some pages and you know your zoom in and then the interesting one here is the comments I'll show you how that looks like in a second but you see how the layers the components the code and the packages have wrapped up into this little section and it takes a second to get used to it but this is how it works on the layers you have your layers pretty self-explanatory the assets are components that you have created uh, either by design or by code uh, these are things that you may have downloaded from the store and then you have the the, the the store is not called the store anymore it's called packages um, you have your public packages that you can download and they have your team packages I don't have a team here but if you have a team you can download them here okay uh, what else have changed let's take a look at the comments how it works because this uh, framework doesn't have comments but uh, it gives you an idea how it works so let's say home can you change this to my feed to put the comment 
obviously I'm all by myself, but if you if you were having a different person here, it would get like a little notification. Uh, and then I can change this to my feed. And then if that changes, um, we go back over here and then you can click on resolve. That resolves and then similar to other other tools. Let's do a little quick prototype here. If I select this frame, select this icon, let's zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna hit L for linking and then L again for linking. And then if I hit works just like Framer X, Command P, and uh, that's not how iOS works. So let's change it up a little bit here. I think if we do an overlay, um, let's do an overlay. Well, the overlay is going to come from a side. Let's do a model. Let's see what happens with model. So if I go here, mm -hmm. eh, okay, it's not quite there, but it, it does the job. And uh, yeah, it's a little weird. Let's share this to get some feedback. Let's see what happens now. It takes a second. Uh, so the difference between this and this is that this is a link that you can share. This is just kind of like floating around here just so you can preview it really fast, similar to Framer X, uh, similar to the Command P situation here. It's the same thing. But now, because you have a, a link, you can you can hover over this link, or you can share this link, or you hover this QR code, and then you get a prototype. Ooh. So it's something I found a little bug here. It's you know they're still working on it. It's still better, but you see how like the changes take an extra second. So I made the change of making it into a model about a couple like maybe less than a minute ago. So it hasn't updated. Uh, it's probably gonna take a second. Uh, I don't know how it works, but for now, let's see see if it works now there you go so now the link works um, it's pretty interesting and now we can share that I, I guess you can hover over, uh, you, if you have an iPhone or if you have a QR reader in your phone boom that can go it can work and you copy this link you, <gasps> you can tweet it that's the sharing feature I'm trying to remember if I'm forgetting anything I wish I had a friend <laughs> that we can share the multiplayer the canvas is quite fast, actually, which makes it quite interesting. I'm getting used to that. I mean, I'm, I bought a new mouse and this is so quickly. So that's why I'm struggling here. Okay, yeah, so I just wanted to give you an overview of Framer Web. If uh, you would like an invite or play with this, let me know. I have some invites. Other than that, I'll see you in another video.